Hey everyone, this is Chris Crazy House here, and today's comic book review is a comic book that I've wanted to review for some time now, and it's an action adventure series called Monarchs. <clears throat> this series is drawn and written by a young artist named Joshua Bullock, and I would say that the artwork in this book is amazing. It's a great cartoony but great action style as well so this is a comic done in a manga style and it really would fit well with I would stack it up against any of those Shonen, Shonen Jump series that you might like whether it be One Piece, Dragon Ball, Naruto, what have you but this is done by independent artists and I appreciate that he has taken the time to go out there and actually create and put this book into, or put his story into a book form like this so he can get the story out to the masses. Because I follow Joshua's work for some time now, and I've seen it on social media, and I've eagerly awaited to see him put this artwork in a story form. So I think it, it, it lends well to that. And he does a little bit of animation as well, and I look forward to seeing more animation because these, these characters lend very well to animation. So <clears throat> the story is about, the overall concept is about uh, characters called monarchs who are the greatest fighters in the entire galaxy. And if you are a monarch, you have a glowing crown above your head. In order for you to get one of those crowns, you have to get into this tournament fighting a monarch and get, uh, once you beat them or defeat one of these monarchs, you can get a golden crown on your head. Okay, so it's one of those type stories, but it focuses mainly on a young boy named Jakari and his uh, cheetah sidekick Pepper and them getting into different adventures in the character of Jakari trying to become one of these monarchs. And it starts off with Jakari having a, a battle with this character named Jug. And he, he's literally a character who's built like a brick house, but his, his head is actually a jug. <laughs> so this is something that I appreciate about this because it just like it's very similar to some of my work, my Chris Crazy House work, and then I like to take weird or inanimate objects and make characters out of them. And I that's one thing that attracted me to looking at Joshua Bullock's work in the first place was the fact that he had these very funny and crazy, something that you would probably see more in a kid's cartoon, but he's upped it a little bit. Kids can still enjoy it, but he's upped it a little bit so you can still get that action adventure that you expect to see and popular manga, and popular anime. And the action is on point, by the way. The fights in this book are, are exceptionally well drawn. They're well done. And I know it's not easy sometimes conveying certain actions with just using black and white on the inside, but he Joshua pulls it off very well. And he has a great cartooning style that's all originally his. It's not... While I say it's in a manga form and it lends itself well to Shonen Jump or manga, he's not trying to necessarily automatically copy manga. He has his own style about it, and that's what I appreciate, the fact that he didn't just go straight to a Japanese style all the way. Like There are certain like elements in the way the story is told, maybe that it lends itself to manga, but he made his own, he made a style of his own, and that's what works for the book. I know it's not easy doing all this stuff in black and white, especially conveying certain types of actions. Sometimes color helps you to either hide or accentuate certain things, but it's it's amazing when you can do it just with the line work. He does a great job at that. So I would definitely recommend you go pick up the first issue of Monarchs. You can get it with one or two covers. There are two different covers for it, but you can pick it up, and he's working on volume two as we speak and I, I very much look forward to that when it does come out so please i'll provide the link in the description you guys can go pick it up 
Go buy Monarchs. If you're a manga fan, go pick it up for yourself. Or if you have a kid, especially a black kid out there who's into manga or anime, and they love characters like Naruto and, and One Piece and whatnot, go buy them this so they can actually see a hero that resembles them that will give them some inspiration and maybe even inspire them, give them some aspirations if they are a young artist themselves who likes to draw and who thinks about creating characters of their own and they can see someone who's out there doing it, who's creating his own characters and creating something that your average manga fan could appreciate, but also a black manga fan will definitely appreciate. So definitely go check it out, and I recommend go buying a copy as soon as you can. Anyway, this is Chris Crazy House. Thank you for watching this review. Thank you for all the people who have subbed to this channel and who continue to sub. I keep getting more subs every week. I appreciate that, and I'll be coming at you with some more content very soon. But once again, thank you all, and go pick up Monarchs number 1. It's available now online. Chris Crazy House, signing out. Peace.